In this video, I'm going to show you how you can research a desired target audience using Quantcast. And Quantcast is a really excellent tool that generates a lot of statistics regarding who visits a website and when. It's completely free and you can access it here at quantcast.com. There are two ways that you can use it. One way is to add the Quantcast code to your website and then you can generate statistics in a similar way to Google Analytics. Or you can use it to find out information about other websites that are going after the same target audience that you are or perhaps places where you might think about advertising so that you can get a good idea as to what the audience for that particular website is. And I'm going to cover that part of the Quantcast site in this video. All you do is you type in a URL into this search box here. And if they have the Quantcast code snippet embedded onto their website, you'll be able to get a lot of different statistics. Now let's say, for example, you were thinking about taking an ad on Time Magazine's website. We type in time.com and then click. And you can see here a lot of statistics about who visits this website and when they visit it. And you can see here that the traffic tends to come in sort of two peaks towards the beginning of the month and then it tapers off and then there's another peak again towards the end of the month and then it drops off considerably all the way along here when Time Magazine comes out and so on. You also see it gives you a different color coding for the different peaks like for example this is the global traffic and then the blue one here that's the US traffic and so on and they're sort of stacked one on top of the other. Time is of course a US based website and they're showing the US demographics here and it tells you a lot of things about people who go to the Time magazine website. For a start you can see that just over half, that's 56 percent, are male and most are in the ranges from 18 to 49 years old. Most are Caucasian although there is a higher than average proportion of Asian viewers to the site and you can see it's showing you this bar chart here and this dashed line is the internet average so more Asian viewers go to this particular site than would be the internet average. Um, as far as what the sort of people are who go to the site 58 percent don't have any kids you can see that they are mostly fairly well paid 32 percent earn over a hundred thousand dollars a year and they also tend to be fairly well educated 47 percent went to college and 23 percent went to graduate school you could also see some of the other websites that this audience also likes and you can also get some idea as to the traffic frequency and the business activity. So you see globally people tend to visit this site from both work and home and in the US people tend to visit this site from both work and home. You can also drill down specifically into certain areas. I just uh, come up here and I can click on countries and I can see that overwhelmingly the main place that people come to the Time website from 
is the United States, more than 11 million visitors, and from Canada, and then the United Kingdom, then India, then Australia. So if I was thinking about taking out an ad on the Time magazine website, I would be looking to target people in these countries. And you can drill down even further, for example, in US states. You get a little map here, and the density of the color gives an indication as to how much traffic it gets. And you can see that of all the states in the Union, California generates the most number of visits to the Time magazine website, followed by New York and then Texas and Florida. And you can also look on cities as well. So you can see that even though California sends more traffic than any other state, New York City sends more traffic than any other city in the US. So you, you can really drill down a lot on the sort of audience demographics that each website gets. And you can do this also, let's say for example you want to promote an affiliate product that's on Clickbank or Pay.com and the website owner has installed the Quantcast code snippet onto their website. Well you can look them up in Quantcast and you can see exactly if that particular affiliate program is going to be a good fit for your list. And likewise if you are selling a product and you want affiliates to help sell it for you then they can go to Quantcast and find out if it's going to be a good fit for their list. So there's a lot of information that you can find here and it's all free. You have to sign up to get the code snippet to put on your website but again it's free to sign up and the website URL is quantcast.com.